G'day guys, my name's Nick. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to carry out a diesel tuner. So how to get better fuel economy and better response out of your turbo diesel four-wheel drive in five easy steps. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've gone down to my local auto store and I've grabbed a few bits and pieces we'll need for today's video. So what we're gonna to do today is the five steps I'm gonna show you are replacing the air filter, cleaning the airflow sensor, cleaning the map sensor, diesel injector cleaner and conditioner, putting some of that into the fuel tank, and then also checking your tyre pressures. So tyre pressures can contribute to bad fuel economy. If your tyre pressures are low, there's going to be a lot more rolling resistance, and it is actually going to increase your fuel economy. So five simple steps, under 100 bucks, and you can get that fuel economy back and also better response. So the only tool on the MUX you're going to need to do this job today is a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's get stuck into it and I'll show you guys exactly how to do the job. So on the MUX getting the air filter out is super easy. It's literally two clips and then you just pull the lid forward and up like that. So now we should just have enough room just to pop this air filter out and let's have a look at how bad it is. There we go. So that air filter's been in for probably maybe 8,000 kilometres. So I do a lot of country driving and a lot of dirt roads, a lot of off-road stuff. And you can see that this air filter has had it. So in extreme conditions, when you are using your vehicle, you do need to check and replace and clean your air filter more periodically than it says in the service manual. So this will definitely be contributing to getting slightly worse fuel economy. You can see all the bugs in there, all the dust and grime. So we've got a brand new Ryko filter to go in. So we'll clean a few little bugs out of here and then we'll put the new filter in. So while you're in here, just try and get rid of some of those bugs that sit down in the bottom of the airbox. Don't want your airbox filling up with bugs and leaves and stuff. So give it a nice clean out. You can blow this out with air, but you just need to make sure that you put a rag or cover the inlet hose here, because you don't want any of it going down into there, into the turbo. So there you go guys, there's the old filter next to the new one. You can see the difference, this one's immaculate. And our old one's all full of bugs and dust. So let's get rid of this and put the new one in. Now it's time to put our new air filter in. So they slide in pretty easy. Just put it in there. These are one of the easiest air filters to change these. They just go in so easy. Make sure it sits down. Then you just gotta line these two little tabs at the back with the holes, lock it in, push it down, and then put your two clips on. And that is the air filter changed. How easy is that? All right guys, we'll just rip the engine cover off. So you've got just some rubber grommets. So just lift it up each side, at the back, take that off. And now we can see the map sensor under here and we can easily access our airflow meter over there. So we'll just pop our map sensor out here. So pop the plug off and then you've got two Phillips head little screws in here. You can get rid of. And then there's just a little rubber o-ring on that sensor and it will pop straight up. So it's quite easy. Easy to get out. There we go. There's the map sensor. Now it's time to pull the airflow meter out. So we'll just pop the plug off. Again, two little Phillips head screws. And the airflow meter will come out. There we go. So there's the airflow meter. So we'll pull this aside and we'll clean airflow meter and the map sensor up with our special cleaner that we got. Okay guys, so this is your map sensor. So your manifold absolute pressure sensor. So this basically measures your boost pressure in the intake system. And your airflow meter, it responds air temperature and airflow readings back to the ECU so it can determine the correct air fuel ratio uh, to supply. So these two sensors are big uh, inputs to the ECU which help determine the amount of air and fuel that need to be mixed together. So if either of these are dirty, they can cause real issues, uh, contributing to bad fuel economy and definitely lack of response. So we're going to use some of this airflow sensor cleaner. It's a gentle cleaner which helps clean any dirt and grime out of these sensors. So you pretty much just spray it in. You can be quite liberal. You want to try and get inside into all those little electronics 
into the films in there and into the resistors that it uses. So with these sensors, once you've cleaned them, you don't want to blow them out with like a high pressure air gun because it's quite easy to damage the very delicate electronics inside this sensor. So you can give it a little wave through the air like this if you need to, just to get the big droplets out of there. And then we can set it aside to allow it to dry in the sun. So same with our map sensor, we're just going to clean out in the end here, get down to those electronics inside, get any residue off there. And we'll let this set aside and uh, dry out and then we'll be able to put them back in the vehicle. That's how simple it is. So now these are all cleaned out correctly. We can put these back in the vehicle and we know that they've been cleaned properly and they're also going to respond to the ECU, the correct readings, so we get a proper air fuel ratio mix, which will give us better fuel economy and also better response. Okay guys, so I've got some Penrite diesel injector cleaner here. So I'm going to put about half this bottle into the fuel tank and that'll help keep the diesel fuel system in tip-top condition. So now it's time to chuck some diesel injector cleaner in. So I'm going to put in about half of this bottle, straight into the tank, and that'll help condition the diesel in there, and also clean the fuel system as it goes through. So the last thing I'm going to check is the tyre pressures. So a lot of people might not contribute tyre pressures with bad fuel economy, but it can definitely contribute. So if your tyre pressures are, you know, low, around 25, 20 psi, and they're meant to be around 36, then it's definitely going to contribute to more rolling resistance and worse fuel economy. So we're going to go around, check the tyre pressures, make sure they're all around 36, and then we'll be good to go. So there you go guys, there's five tips to getting better fuel economy and better response out of your turbo diesel four-wheel drive. So replacing your air filter, cleaning your map sensor, cleaning your airflow meter, diesel injector cleaner and fuel system cleaner, and also checking those tyre pressures. So that's five simple steps that you can do at home to get better fuel economy and better response. So if you guys have any tips that you'd like to share, just drop them down in the comments below and help everybody out. it would be awesome. So the best bit is once you get this stuff, Injector cleaner, you know, you get two, three tanks out of this bottle and the airflow meter cleaner, you get about 10 cleans out of this can, so you'll definitely be using it in the future as well. So for all up, about 60, 70 bucks, you'll have better fuel economy, better response, and your engine will love you for it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more full driving and accessory fitting videos. Cheers, guys.